All I really wanted was to make it. All I really wanted was to make it. Say, all I really wanted was to make it. All I ever wanted was to make it. Say, I just need you to believe. Yeah. Mama needs you to believe. Yeah. We just need you to believe. Yeah. Yeah. What's good, Trey fans? Today's Insta topic is originality with the subject matter of Big Draco himself, Soldier Boy Tello. Why Soldier Boy, you ask? What do he, of all people, have to do with the subject at hand? So let's take a trip down memory lane. Back when music was predominantly came from big artists on the radio. When making dance music was killing hip hop. No, this isn't a music YouTube channel, but it does dive into the creation of art. And at the time, because Mr. Kiss Me Through the Phone was going against the grain, he was viewed as less than. Making ringtone music and uploading his music on the internet was unheard of. As a creator, you have to be daring enough to take chances that most may not understand or agree with. I think the fear of being inauthentic is what causes many curators, whether it's music, art, etc., to point their fingers at others and begin labeling them as either being worthless, derivative, or copycats. But question, originality is dead. True or false? Comment below, I'd like to have a debate for or against the point. In my opinion, I do believe that you have to learn from the artists that came before you. And by looking at what they created, you can take inspiration from the good and improve from the bad. People without the knowledge of the past is like a tree without roots. You cannot build upon something without a great base. True enough, ignorance is bliss at times and you may get lucky with small success. But that success will not last if you cannot repeat the process. Originality is defined as being unusual and thinking creatively. But how can you think in such a manner without first knowing what was done beforehand? I have personally been fighting this battle since the beginning of Trey Creations, trying to find my voice within the art world by creating African art within my style, but also being profitable with more commercial art or commissions. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy creating any and everything, but when asked my preference, I would prefer to create and sell from my own portfolio of art. Building a culture of non-conformity begins with learning how to generate new ideas, but it doesn't end there. To maintain originality over time, creators need to keep fighting to push onward to something new. So to balance out strong creative culture, you also need a steady supply of critical opinions. Even if they're wrong, they're useful to gauge your audience. So I'll leave y'all with this. Being normal is boring, and I have yet to meet someone who wishes to be forgotten. Our journey through life is to find that special place of appreciation and validation. Thanks, and until next time.